What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video, and we are back on the road to number one in the world. So guys, it has been a while since I made one of these videos, almost a week actually, and that's because we took a really big loss in the last episode, and I was only on like four hours of sleep, and so I've just been waiting to have a proper sleep. I got eight hours last night, man, that's how much I care about you guys. I couldn't get a proper sleep for myself, only only for the series. So yeah, we're gonna be playing some jewels today, and hopefully, you know, my superior amount of sleep and uh, just focus and everything like that uh, will... Uh, We'll come through with some good guesses today. Uh, also, the idea is that we're going to be guessing pretty quickly. So let's see how we go. Uh, we're ranked 106th, I believe, in the world at the start of this episode. Here we are in Kyrgyzstan, and this really looks like the capital to me. I mean, we'll just check the mirror here. It actually looks like the southern mirror, in which case I'm pretty sure Jalalabad is the one where you get more like winter coverage, and then or is it Osh? I forget. One of the two. We'll find out at the end of this round, but it's one of the two where you get like more winter coverage. I think it was Jalalabad, um, but regardless, we'll see in a minute here. So yeah, the southern mirror has like less of the car. Um, um, less of the uh, road showing, um, and it was actually in Uzgen. Yeah, that's right. Uzgen has the really wintry, um, like snowy stuff. I think then Jalalabad's overcast and Osh is a bit sunny, um, or at least slightly sunny. So that's how I remember it. But anyway, the next one here should be Ecuador. I think we'll just go straight for it here. Ecuador can be difficult, especially with this kind of climate for newer players. So I feel like slamming it in is a great idea. Should be like somewhere Manta, Guayaquil, or something along the coast, I think. But our hedge here is just fine, and it could be a bit further inland too. Um, but yeah, I knew it was. Ecuador because this kind of slightly holy pole, which he may uh, confuse for a Brazilian one. So we'll see. Instead, they go in Peru and it was indeed in Machala. So there we go. A good amount of damage on the second round there. Uh, pretty impressive. The uh, the guy so far, he did get the um, the southern uh, Kyrgyzstan round. So that was pretty good. Anyway, next one here is going to be somewhere in Midway Atoll. Obviously, um, it's not Wake Island, is it? Yeah. Um, obviously, this is a pretty free round. So yeah, I mean, not really expecting much to happen here. Still, I'm pretty terrible at finding the Midway Atoll, but regardless, uh, <laughs> it's still farm where you get the 5k or the 4999 and uh yeah our opponent takes one point of damage off us and actually knew the exact spot so definitely a jewels player any jewels player should pretty much know that because it comes up so often for whatever reason it's kind of crazy uh anyway next one here i mean it's a terrible jewels location because if you know it you know it and if you don't you don't it's pretty funny uh but the next one here should be somewhere like relatively southern uh or like kind of middle middle southern maybe um in tunisia here uh what direction is the road kind of north south i think i like the guess here it's a little hilly as well so maybe further towards gabez where there are some hills but there are kind of like smaller hills throughout the kind of southern part of the country as well so we'll see where it ends up being it is a divided highway as well so somewhere near a big city and it was yeah the gabez hills instead so um obviously opponent goes in turkey that's great damage for us and we move through it around five with a really huge advantage here such that it's going to be hard to lose uh and this one looks like new zealand with the yellow dash down is here and it will be i'm just gonna go to the intersection here see if i see anything or is it australia no yellow painted uh yeah this is definitely new zealand and i want to say is auckland here this is a pretty big city um i'm just gonna go to this uh, sign here just because i want to make sure and uh we, we're next to the six and the nine which is interesting so let's find new zealand here I don't really see that there'll be anything. We could just check how much quickly, I guess. I don't see the six nor the nine, so I'm just going to go for Auckland. I feel like that's actually a fine guess. Yeah, we'll see, though. I mean, it is pretty hilly, which I like for Auckland suburbs. Um, and it feels kind of like Australia, which I also like for there. But I could be wrong still. Uh, we will see. Maybe those hills are a bit too big. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and where is he going to go? It will be indeed in Auckland. He kind of goes for the middle hedge there and it pays off for nicely for us. So those were those kind of south hills we saw there. It is indeed the win there. So GG's to our opponent. We only lost one point uh, to our opponent and look at that new animations. Fantastic. Okay, that was a, that was a two point gain for a one point uh, of, of, of health loss there. And here is our fantastic uh, avatar. Excellent stuff. Let's spin him around until we get our game. <laughs> okay, next game we're against Der Ziggy, the classic. Okay, it's Zig, Zig versus Zig here. I definitely favor Ziggy in this because it's moving, but we'll see. We'll see how we can do here. First one is going to be Senegal, and uh, ooh, this feels kind of further out with these thatched roofs, does it? I'm not really sure, though. I might just kind of hedge middle here, because I don't really feel like losing or gaining too many points on this round. I think it can be around Tambacunda, can be around, like, Kaolak or, like, Tuba kind of area, so I just hedge, I just hedge. And no doubt, because I just want to guess quickly on this. Ziggy's better at moving than me, he's better at place names. Uh, and uh, yeah, he 5k is there. So obviously the hedge pays off for us here. We're not too far away, 372 points, but obviously uh, as well, Ziggy, as I said, moving player, it's not good for us. Okay, Botswana, I was practicing Botswana today. Let's see if we can get the vibe here. This is probably Gaborone, to be honest. Biggish hills, yeah, I would say Gaborone. Uh, we'll see, if he, if, he, if, he, uh, if he goes elsewhere, it could be good points for us, but otherwise should be pretty standard stuff here. Um, but no doubt he can find something that says Gaborone on it, I would imagine, if it is there. And it was, and yeah, it's just in the city there. So obviously again, uh, less than 50 points or something. Yeah, 60, that's fine. 
Okay, Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy. Okay, can we beat him? This would be this would be interesting. We actually did a video uh, a whole while back where we one v one each other, and I managed to come away with the win. But that was on no moving, and yeah, I don't really like my chances as well on here. That's for sure. Okay, this one I would go middle. I think. Yeah, I think I'll go. Mm, it is like pretty hilly. Okay, I'll go like central, middle here. I don't really know. This is just uh, this is just standard Swiss uh, Swiss stuff. So I don't really see that I'm going to gain too much of an advantage by moving around or anything like that. Uh, but I don't want to get flawless. So hopefully we just out hedge him here. We'll see there. Uh, and where will Mr. Ziggy go here? Uh, yeah, he gets close again. So I mean, no doubt Ziggy's been to the Switzerland. Actually, I don't know if you if you want to comment, Ziggy, you can. Uh, well, obviously, still closer than us here. This is no good. Hoping for bigger countries, and we have Russia here, so I don't mind that. What are we looking at here, though? Ooh, this feels kind of so good area or something like that to me. It could even be further north. Uh, buildings are relatively colorful. It is a big city here, um, and the trees are really, are really short. So I think I do want to go further north than so good here. In which case, maybe one of these cities like this. Uh, well, how big is this city here? I could go for that. Um, although, is it too many trees? I don't know. Um, hmm, overall... Like we could just kind of click, what, how big is this town here? We could go there. I do feel like I want to commit more to the north here. Uh, what does this say on the, ooh. Hmm, uh, Dov, Dob, Dobicha, Dobicha. I don't think that's actually a place. I might just go for the guess here because no doubt he can, uh, I just hope it's not so good. I, I, I don't think I misread it here. I think this is quite a bit further north. Um, but if it's not, obviously that's a bit of a concern because it could be biggish damage here. Uh, but I just hope he didn't find the town name because if he did, or if he plonks super nice, it could be big. Oh, and we actually picked the town there. That's very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, got the north vibe and he actually does go so good there. So it's 1.5k damage. We're actually back in the lead now. Very happy with that. Um, and the, this is this is where we have the advantage against Ziggy. I think some, some of the vibe guesses can be better potentially. Uh, this is going to be somewhere in now. What's that car? Is that a Java car? I think it is. This one is found in Java, I believe. So, yeah, I think this might be on the island then, on uh, on Madura Island. I think so. Um, it kind of gives me that vibe now that I've seen a bit more of the round. Um, also, like, islands in uh, Indonesia tend to have this orangish soil all the time. I thought this is initially Lampung, so maybe it is further that direction. Okay, it's just central Java. Instead, we go for pretty similar guesses. There could have been big damage, but instead, neither of us gets the vibe, so... Yeah, it could have been up to 1.5k damage there, though. Next one here is uh, Belgium, or... Yeah, it should be Belgium, but we got Dutch pave Pavement, which is interesting, so I guess I'll go close to the Netherlands. Uh, we actually have English here, which is interesting, but he is driving right hand side of the road. And so, yeah, I mean, we could just kind of go to the next intersection here, although Ziggy will have a big advantage here, so I guess I should just go, really. Um, and I'll go in Leer. No, I'll go even closer to the Netherlands, just because of that pavement. I feel like it is actually wise to do so here. Uh, ooh, did we see a bit of red car there? No? No, we didn't. Okay, it was just the blur looking a bit red. Uh, regardless, I am curious to see how close Ziggy can get here, because this should be the type of round he does a good job on. Uh, and, okay, well, it was just south of Antwerp there. Pretty similar guesses, and uh, it was pretty close to the, ne the Netherlands, so it makes sense that we have that Dutch pavement. Still in the lead here, but only off the back of that rush, I guess. Everything else has been further away, which is pretty funny. Okay, and here we are in... Uh, in Hmm, this is Ecuador for sure. Now, I want to make sure I get the right city here. This is very open in a way that I think isn't quite right. If I can find a country, isn't quite right for Quito. Quito should... Yeah, it's quite close in in Quito. So I think this is Cuenca. I think this is Cuenca, maybe. Um, it's a bigger city. I'm just going to go for it here. I feel like it's, it's likely to be Cuenca or Ambato, and I think Cuenca might be better. So we'll find out. It's definitely high altitude, that's for sure. You get the vibe, kind of like smaller trees. It feels, feels a bit Mexican almost, but we got round poles, so it shouldn't indeed be in Mexico. Uh, and we'll see here. And yeah, he goes to Mexico. Wow, I was going to say, it does really feel Mexican. Uh, and that will be enough to knock him out, obviously. So there we go. GG's to Ziggy. Um, just two guesses. But yeah, the fast, fast guesses uh, do pay off there. We'll say GG. And uh, we get above 1,400 once again, so that's obviously pleasing. Uh, but let's head through to another round here. Could we play Ziggy again? That would obviously be fun if we could, um, because uh, I like those easy points, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, Okay, let's head through to the next one here. We're against Rudy instead, who is uh, very low rated. Uh, so hopefully we just go quickly here and uh, pick up a quick win. Uh, this kind of grass here you often see in uh, the south of Japan. Uh, but it's very flat here. This feels almost more, much more like Tokyo. Okay, hey, um, on, on Japan, this is definitely a country where I want to move because I actually know regional metas and stuff like that. These are blue markings on the road. I know blue road lines are often in Ehime uh, pr uh, Prefecture, but I want to go for the next pole here. So let's see that. We're on the 305. And here we have... Oh, this is an interesting pole marking. So yeah, we should be somewhere around here, uh, given that fact, because... Oh, can we see the 305 once we've looked in here? 301? 
So we see the three on one. Uh, but regardless, when you have these rounded uh, tags, they're always like around this kind of area here. And it was actually about as far north as it could have been in Nagano there. So I should have maybe uh, checked uh, Nag Nag yeah, Nagano there. So we, sh we should have really checked the uh, mountains, but that's okay. Next round here, I'm, I'm speaking too quickly today, but I'm excited to be back. Uh, this should be Botswana or Eswatini, like, yeah, it looks like an Eswatini kind of pole there, so I don't really think I see those in Botswana. I'm just going Babane here then, um, but we could be wrong. I don't know, it kind of looks like Eswatini, but ultimately, um, it kind of, it, it is Eswatini, but it kind of looks like uh, the kind of stuff you get all the way around Gabarani, where we had that last round before. Um, and we have these blue field insights, which are South African exclusive, like the Southern African countries. Opponent goes in Madagascar, very interesting guess there from Rudy, obviously not a very good one, but it's cool that he got the Southern African vibe even if he doesn't know his metas, because obviously uh, in Madagascar you hardly get any car coverage at all. Uh, next one here is going to be somewhere in, is this Portugal? I think this might be Portuguese island, or it's just the UK. Um, mm, okay, now I'm thinking it's more UK. Yeah, we have rock walls here. Yeah, this is more of like an Irish house, so I, I'm happy to just go for it here. Quick guesses are good guesses, especially because we're unlikely to lose here. And uh, well, rock walls, they're not typically Irish. It could still be Wales, I guess, yeah. Um, architecture could certainly fit for that. Um, could it even be France? Maybe. I uh, don't think so, but it's, I guess, outside possibility. Isle of Man. Okay. That's why it kind of felt like an island. That's why I was kind of thinking of these Portuguese islands here. Uh, but yeah, obviously not a particularly good guess. And our opponent gets closer, which is nice for them. Okay, next one here is uh, Israel, probably just on the Palestine border when you get this kind of landscape. So I'm just going to go straight for it here, uh, just around here. This kind of stuff has a lot of these, like, palm plantations in a row. Um, so I'm expecting to be correct here. Uh, could that be Sea of Galilee? I mean, maybe, could be. Um, although I don't really know if it actually is water. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Yeah, anyway. Uh, and, uh, we actually basically got on the spot there. Yeah, it's that exact spot. And obviously that is enough to win the jewel there. So we're three for three so far. Uh, and we are pretty much up on the episode, like, quite, quite nicely. And, uh, regaining some of those points that we lost last time. Now we have a Japanese friend, uh, and we have the town names here. Uh, M Miesti, uh, is, uh, is, uh, I think, Czech for town, or whatever, so we'll just go straight for it here. <laughs> Nothing better than just a bit of hedging uh, action in Czechia, and it's unlikely that our opponent, uh, knows, and we'll give him a wave. I, I, I do, do forget to do, uh, do the waving while I'm, while I'm talking so fast, but, uh, okay, that was right on the Polish border. Yeah, Czechia is one of those cool countries that has a natural border where, like, the entire border is pretty much mountainous, apart from maybe the Austrian border. And so, often when you have higher mountains in Czechia, you should guess on one of the borders. But then again, you can also just hedge, and obviously that's uh, also a nice tactic sometimes. This is Albania. Our opponent guesses, and uh, they got closer. Very nice for a 900 rated opponent, knowing the Albanian coverage. And uh, definitely rewarded for it, because it was all the way south there. Um, I guess it was a bit drier, makes sense. Okay, next one here, maybe maybe Philippines or something like that. Definitely a difficult one. I, I almost want to go straight for it here. Um, you opponent goes straight for it. Okay, could still be Sulawesi. Definitely prefer Philippines, and I don't think we're going to see too much more here. On the intersection, maybe. Uh, yeah, a bit of lag. I don't know. Yeah, this should be Philippines. I'll just go Pene here. It should be fine. And indeed, it was just in, uh, ooh, San Juan. Interesting. Um, but our opponent goes in Indonesia. Not a terrible guess. Definitely was the second option, but, uh, Philippines was just better there. Uh, because there were lots of palms, specifically. Um, okay, next one here. What have we got? Ooh, this is interesting. Latvia. Uh, and we're in Dalga Pils, or whatever it's called. That is, uh, it's not this one. It's one of the bigger towns, I thought. So, I'm looking for it here. Um, mm. Oh, there it is, yeah. I knew it was one of the bigger towns, just had no idea where it was, and obviously, yeah, we come through from a bit of reading. I know I'm not normally a reader, but sometimes, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it definitely does. And, <laughs> opponent sends another wave, okay. Uh, next one here, so how are we going? 1.5 times damage, southern Italy, perhaps? Uh, what are we looking at here? Mm. It's not really, is that, mm. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Italian language. Poles look Italian. I'm, I'm just a bit thrown off by how flat it is here. We got holy poles as well. Oh, it's Romanian. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very flat for Italy. That would be, for, that would be for sure. Uh, and so, and it, yeah, it wasn't the right font for the uh, stop sign either, which is a bit more rounded letters there. Um, I would say south because it was a bit warmer feeling, but I guess it could be like kind of Hungarian border too. And it was indeed south there. Very good. Okay. Wow. Bit of a, bit of a, could have been a bit of a blunder there. Opponent did get a pretty good guess. I think there were Romanian flags in the distance, but I could have gone Italy there. It's not out of the question. I've been known to do stupid things like that. Okay. Double damage here. We are in, uh, 
Bulgaria, I assume. That looks Bulgarian. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight for it here. Very low chance this is anywhere else with this kind of snow coverage and, you know, kind of depressing looking mountainous landscape. Um, if it's depressing looking uh, flat, then you should be in Hungary. But ooh, yeah, that was right on the border. So we don't gain as much as we could have. But even at double damage, that's almost enough to knock him out. So it's good. Uh, Italian, uh, Amer and our Japanese friend is hanging on for dear life here, but... You never know, a bit of Argentina could be, or it's not Argentina at all, it's something in Europe, could be uh, could be good for him. So, is this Spain? It looks like Spain. Yeah, it is going to be Spain. I'm just going to go straight for Madrid here. Reason being, um, I've just seen this. It's 100% confirmation that it's Spain, this uh, cross, uh, this pedestrian sign. He might not know that. Um, and, okay, will that be enough to knock him out? Not quite, I believe, but we are significantly closer. And yeah, it is. Wow, it doesn't really feel that much closer, but yeah, I guess because, because you know, as the bird flies, we definitely are quite a bit closer there. So GG to our opponent here, and we are really gaining back what we had. Definitely thinking sharply here today. No complaints about that. And uh, we're against the same opponent again, so I guess we can gain another one point. Please change it, GeoGuessr devs. If you're watching this, maybe one of you guys are. Please change it so we don't have to play these 900 rated players. Um, but yeah, this is going to be Mazaru area, I think. Uh, regardless, it's going to be somewhere in the west or the dry part of Lesotho. Um, and uh, it was indeed Mazaru. Our opponent goes in Eswatini. Good guess, obviously, um, knowing that it wasn't South Africa. But yeah, Eswatini, just distinctively Rocky Mountains, uh, which really helps out, I think. Next one here, Balkan, maybe, with this house. I could see elsewhere as well, though. Let's check out this intersection here. we got a Volvo. Maybe this is Sweden. Yeah, and uh, we got bilingual signs here. So I would actually say... Let's just go in like here. Should be fine. Uh, biling bilinguality in uh, in Finland normally around like the Turku Helsinki area and then uh, like around the Vasa area. So kind of like, yeah, kind of like hedging here a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was just around the Helsinki area instead. Good guess from our opponent. There you go. So a bit bit of uh, points back for our Japanese friend here. Uh, and then also of course. Uh, Finland is bilingual in the north of the country where they have the Sami language. Anyway, uh, next one here is obviously Ghana, and I thought this was like somewhere around Tamale, so I'm just going to go straight to that here, um, and it was instead, yeah, kind of yeah, in, uh, directly, latitudinally similar, but just across a bit, so that's okay. Uh, pretty standard round. Okay, round number four here. I was hoping that would be Australia. It really looked like it might be Darwin or something as we loaded in. This one also has a similar vibe, but it's going to be somewhere in Turkey instead. No antenna. Yeah. Um, could it ever be North Macedonia? It could be. No, but we have Turkish bollards here. So, um, I guess... I don't know. I actually don't know where this is going to be. I think I would click right in the middle of the country here. Uh, let's go like this, maybe. Um, and it was, yeah, towards Antalya. That makes sense. Flat area, Konya. Um, yeah, it was surprisingly flat. Should have go, gone around Konya, really. But um, I don't know. Well, that was interesting that it was Generation 3. Most of Turkey is Generation 4. Uh, next one here, white rear plates. And we're driving right. Is this Belgium? It appears to be with the uh, red number plates here. We're on the E17. Although I don't think I can be bothered. I think we're going to slam it in here. Let's check out the uh, sign if we can, though. Okay, we can't. Um, in which case, we'll check out the language. Appears to be more Dutch. Let's just go in Leuven here uh, and call it a day. Uh, and let's see if we can see actually where it actually was here. Oh, we got, a, I thought it was a weed truck. It's just an aloe vera truck instead. Um, that would be more Amsterdam, I guess, or in Belgium instead. Okay, here was the name of the town. Varangen. Varangen. Where is this place? Hmm, interesting. Uh, and our opponent goes in France, which is obviously huge damage for us. Uh, missing the red number plates there. Very, very useful stuff for getting Belgium. Basically, you're always able to see it there. Next one here, Switzerland, I would say. We've got German here. We've got telephone number as well. Uh, Dach, Dach Oh, so like it's, uh, he actually like puts grass on the roofs, I guess. But he doesn't have grass on his roof, though. Oh, no, we have to check this out. Come on, then. He surely should have... Oh, he does. Good, 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 good. Okay, that's very pleasing to see. Obviously, we didn't leave ourselves much time to guess here. I'll just go there. And, uh, yeah, what's nearby there? Okay, interesting. Mm, that is a... Uh, I never knew that career existed, but there you go. Uh, so, if you are a, du a, a, a Dach Begrünere, then uh, let me know in the comments, because that is a pretty interesting career, if you ask me. Okay, next one here. Uh, we're going to be somewhere in... Hmm, I would say Northern Mariana Islands. Now, it's Guam, is it? Because of the concrete poles, is that right? Oh yeah, we have the, yeah. Uh, okay, so I, I, I learned the men now. Guam has concrete poles, and obviously we have the roof rack there, so we can just go, and our opponent gets it. Really nice plays from the Japanese guy here. He had some bigger mists, but he had some nice knowledge as well. Like, particularly that Albania, he got really quickly. Okay, next one here, Livingston FC. Oh, this looks like a British day, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, probably Scot Scottish indeed, I would say. Uh, so let's see if we can make it out here. Do UK, okay, Peterhead. I feel like I've heard of this place. And our opponent goes in, Peterhead. Yeah, there we go. Very nice indeed. Should be a 5k. And yeah, our opponent is pretty much too far away here to survive, I would say. 
It's triple damage, and yes, indeed they are. Okay, very nice indeed. GG's to our opponent. And uh, let's go through to another duel to see if we can make it all the way back up to where we were uh, when we kind of went on a little bit of a losing streak in the last episode. So one more here, and uh, I hope I hope it can be somewhere hi someone higher rated, and we can just uh, take him to town. That'll be nice, wouldn't it? Well, look at that. We have the, our Japanese friend instead. Okay, that's fine. Uh, first one here is against Switzerland. So we've had a bunch of Switzerland today, haven't we? Four rounds or something. Um, and this one, I don't know. Let's check out the uh, sign here. Should be German, I reckon. Yeah. Um, and uh, ooh, there are big mountains. Okay. Hmm, let's big mountains to the south. Okay, so I guess we should be somewhere like this. Uh, why would you have like that kind of ridge? Maybe St. Gallen? Maybe. Um, yeah, we'll go for it. Why not? I like guessing there. Uh, instead, it was all the way over in Thun. Uh, which is just on the border of the French speaking part, I guess. Yeah, we're right, like, yeah, we're right very close there. Um, anyway, next one here. Um, but it was German. Yeah, definitely German. Okay, this one here feels like a Christmas island, and we have the crabs. Okay, so I, I, I kind of doubt... Like, I'm just thinking of the average Japanese person. Like, I don't know if they would have heard of the Christmas Island crabs. And yeah, he goes Bermuda, which is a fine guess. Does he even go there? Yeah, he does. Uh, huge damage for us, though, which is fantastic. Um, no, we, maybe we can play another duel yet, guys. You never know. Uh, next one here is uh, Indonesia. And uh, we should be somewhere in, not Java, because we have metal poles here. Now, uh, I would like to see something specific here. It it gave me a bit of a Sulawesi vibe, but, uh, oh, this, this, mm, interesting. Okay, I want to go for some extra info here. Could still see a number of places. Maybe West Kalimantan could work here. There's a bit of a hedge as well. Um, mm, okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah, so we have even uh, pole tops at the top here. That is uh, only found in certain places. Ooh. Yeah. It's a whole lot of palms as well. Like, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would go... Ooh, we have fake tiles. I like it. I like it. Let's go West Kalimantan here. Somewhere near the coast. Should be fine. And it, Ooh, yes, we get it, guys. That was so good. Combine the poles with the fake tiles here, and I was pretty sure it should be somewhere in... Uh, yeah inside that country, inside that uh, territory. And yeah, there we go. That was another two points. We can go for another one here. That was obviously a really quick game and chuck a GG. Oh, we didn't get time. Uh, but uh, okay, let's see if we can uh, pull another win. It will be nice. Okay, so this time we're against Ben. He is 972 rated and we're starting off in Monaco here. Thinking we just go for the very, very fast 5K here. Uh, so I, I don't really region guess Monaco, but uh, I am relatively sure we're there because uh, it's a very distinctive city and very cool indeed. I mean, look at this place. Uh, and our opponent must be a Grand Prix fan, maybe. We never know, I guess, but uh, yep, it's two two points of damage, so no flaws this time, no flaws. Next one here. Ooh, maybe a bit of a Thai slash Cambodian vibe here. Would be elsewhere still, but yeah, we have no antenna. I definitely like Thailand here, but near Cambodia, so I'll just go for that. To be honest, this is not an easy round, but our opponent has like a really... Yeah, they have the really advanced background, so they may actually be like kind of, they kind of have probably dropped rating on purpose or just don't play jewels, which is obviously no good for us. We have to play nicely here. We, I can't I can't be f uh, flippant with my guesses. Okay, this one is, let's run that up the road here. This is somewhere on this road and we're fairly far south on it. And I would say something like this is working quite nicely here, but maybe it's a bit further south or north. Um, okay, looking for something that fits here. This angle. Ooh, I don't really see it. Yeah, I feel like it has to be there or further north. Maybe it is further up here. I'll just go there. And it was indeed out that direction. He goes all the way out west here, there, but that kind of red car that we had just then is really only on this road up to Ulaanbaatar and then a bit north as well. So makes life uh, nice and easy to know that on, on Mongolia. Next one here, maybe Costa Rica. I feel like I've had this before, right? Oh, and we are already into some maybe, oh, Colombian, interesting. So then I think we'll just plonk Colombia. Yeah, hmm, don't really get anything more here. I mean, we could go for the town name. I'm just gonna plonk it. Um, I could, I kind of looked like Ecuador to me. So maybe it is further south, but uh, I don't know. Colombia's hard enough where just clicking middle is often a good idea. So we'll see if I am right to have done that or if I should have gone south soon enough. And yeah, well, it's just outskirts of Bogota there on, in this town here which is a pretty cool town. And uh, we're doing damage again here. So basically flawlessing so far, despite our opponent being pretty high rated. And we have New Zealand here, which I don't mind. New Zealand can be good. Uh, this, we have uh, we have a bunch of uh, like hmm, hedgerows, which you often associate with the South Island here. Uh, but I want to go for some extra info here. Do you have anything on the pole? People have been developing some pole metas recently for, uh, for New Zealand, which I haven't really figured out yet. I think we could hedge between islands here almost, yeah. 
Uh, vegetation all feels a bit more uh, North Island to me, but then again, I can see it being north of the South Island as well around here. So I might just go for that. Eh, I'm just going for it. I don't really care. Like we're not gonna lose on this round, so it should be okay. We got a white marker there and a black one. Mm. Yeah, I gotta learn those. Okay, it was just north and near Taranga. I don't know. I should have trusted the vegetation, but it's only gonna be a thousand point two damage, so that's okay. Uh, yeah, definitely New Zealand at high. Maltese can be extremely scary for me though, because I often get the vibe wrong. <laughs> Ah, this one is probably Santiago. I want to say it is. Uh, do we get anything else by moving around a little bit here? Not so much, I would say. It's definitely Santiago or South, though, I would say, though. So, yeah. I think on Jules' map, we should go Santiago here. Yeah, we're going Santiago. I, I feel like I've gotten burnt by this too many times. I'm going there. And it was instead near Curico there. Our opponent goes Concepcion, and we're slightly closer, which is good. Um, but, uh, yeah. Wasn't Santiago, so I guess the mountains were a bit smaller than you'd see in Santiago there. We got the fifth, either the fourth or the fifth, uh, Switzerland for the day, which is fine, I guess. Not really my favorite country to guess, and a bit boring. I mean, obviously it's such a beautiful country, but you know, there's not really too much going on in terms of good region guessing. There's bigger mountains to the south and smaller ones to the north, and then few languages, and that's it. Okay, wasn't he sent Gallon that time? Uh, damage is fine. Yeah, damage is good. So uh, yeah, can't complain. But uh, we definitely don't want to lose this. Obviously, there's plenty to lose and not much to gain here. So it's a bit of an annoying jewel to play this Ben fella. This one is going to be somewhere in uh, Bangladesh. And I don't really know. Like, it, it, it's a bigger feeling place here. That's for sure. And we don't have any English at all. That's very typical Bangladesh, isn't it? Um, in which case? In which case? No English? No, 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 no. Okay, so I think we go Dakar here. Um... Hmm, don't really see anything better to do. It's probably a different city, but hedging in the middle is fine anyway. And it was just uh, in the next city up there in Mauna Union. Interesting. Um, and uh, again, doing some damage, which is fine, which is good. Um, 3.5 times damage. Here we have Albanian number plates, maybe. I think like this looks fairly Albanian. Uh, yeah, it is Albania. And this is very epic and beautiful. So I, I want to say it's more northern here. I'm just going to go like around here. This should be a fine guess. Um, and our opponent will no doubt know this. If they have this background, they know what Albania looks like. I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, and we probably have the place name here, Permet. Permet. Did we guess near Permet? I don't know. Maybe it's south. Okay, it's south. Damn. Uh, yeah, it's a small place, but definitely findable. Uh, but luckily our opponent just goes to Rana and uh, we lose a bit of points there. Hmm. Hasn't been much favorable so far. Not much too, too much region guessable for me, like we had against Ziggy. Uh, this one should be somewhere in uh, Ireland. And vibes wise, I would probably click middle here. Maybe a slight south vibe. We're going to kill Kenny there, but I have no idea. This could just be north as well. So, okay, well, so actually near there. It was near Cal Carlo instead, but uh, both both players getting close. 192 damage. Damn. I uh, I don't really like the way this is jewel is going. 4.5 times damage. I'm liable to make a mistake here. This one should be somewhere in uh, Laos. Yeah, it is. And we don't have any cars, so it should just be Vienta in there. Uh, let's go for it. Vientiana? I don't even know how it's pronounced, but we'll just go for it. Opponent gets it, of course. If they guessed before me, I knew they had it. There's just no chance they didn't. 23 points of damage. Okay, this is annoying. This is officially annoying. I don't want five times damage. I do not want that. Uh, and here we are in... Uh, is it, like, Hungary or something like that? Definitely feels like it could be, but... Zerpava. Hmm, interesting. What about this? Uh, ooh... What's that? It, it almost feels like more Czechoslovak here. Oh yeah, we have we have Czech signs. Let's get those signs quickly again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, ooh. Okay, don't recognize any of the places where. Mm, yeah. Okay, then we have to do a bit of plonking here. Felt more like wet. Oh no, it kind of felt like hungry. So I'll go middle. And it was. Oh, we were a bit closer, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah, just a difficult round. Don't really like uh blame myself too much for that. But obviously. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, and it's just Christmas Island now. This is horrible. This is going to be a four, this is going to be a 20 round duel, maybe. I never know. You never know. That's, I think, the highest we ever got is 20 rounds. So, ooh, guys, it's a bit scary here. This is indeed Christmas Island. If he forgets his car matters, he could be in trouble, but he won't. Yeah, he doesn't. Um, okay, man, please give us some hard round. Give us just one moderately difficult round where we can outplonk him or just make it easier rounds until the end. That's my two desires here. Is this Denmark? I think so. Looks like Denmark indeed. We have B-style guard. Yeah, this is Denmark. Mm. When I see this, I'm... I'm mm. Aarhus, maybe. It's a east to west highway. I think it's actually a middle plonk here. I think this might be a middle plonk kind of round, guys. Ooh, do we get anything here? Not really. Uh, no. Uh, but it is 
I mean, I'm sure it's Denmark, surely. Yeah, and it was a middle hedge. I knew when he guessed before me that he probably did in the middle, so... That was kind of my... I kind of had to follow in there, and it was a good idea. Obviously, we're very close there. And the East to West Highway makes sense. Most of the Jutland stuff would be North-South. Okay, Japan, let's lock in, let's lock in. So we got here... Ooh, we have like a... Ooh, is that a Tokyo plate? It could be. It could be. What about these? Ooh, um... Mm, Agio Soka. Don't recognize any of that. Okay, let's get to another poll here. Let's get to another poll. Um... Oh man, it's so populated that it's hard to know what to concentrate on, you know. Oh, that's spam on the Ooh. Uh oh, I don't know the logo to be honest. Okay, what's the vibe here? Do you go Tokyo? Do we have Tokyo pole tops? I don't know. We have to go for the guess here. I'm just gonna go Tokyo. I think he may have gone there himself, so we'll see. And it was indeed Tokyo. Goodness gracious, man. That was a bit stressful. I saw this uh the, the uh, metallic plate, which is most common in Tokyo, so I was always gonna go there if I didn't find anything else, but it was, it was not nice. Okay, it's so round 16, seven times damage. You don't see this too often on jewels. And here we are in, I would say, uh, Ecuador, but I'm not entirely sure yet. So I'm just gonna go for extra confirmation here. It's a Colombian pole. So let's find, let's find a yellow number plate then. So I just wanna make absolutely certain here. And okay, there's a Colombian number plate. So, um, maybe slight south vibe here. Yeah, I'm gonna go slightly south. I'm gonna go like this. Um, obviously, five, uh, seven times damage. He, if he just out hedges me here, he's in he's in luck. Uh, maybe I should have gone further north, but I 5k it. Let's go, baby. That was huge stuff. Ben, if you don't play jewels, that's fine. If you are dropping rating on purpose to destroy me, then screw you. But uh, we got two points and we say GG there. Uh, so, um, obviously, a massively successful episode. Definitely will be getting some more sleep for the series, apparently. And yeah, guys, we finished off on 74th in the world. Just a huge episode in general. And uh, yeah, that was a great one. So guys, thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end. Uh, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time and goodbye.